Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Amber the Happy Homemaker. Today I am finally getting around to showing you my bathroom makeover renovations. And I'm just going to start out by showing you kind of the process of which we went in. This is the bathroom before. Um, I just moved everything out of the tub, like the kids' toys and stuff into the sink. That's why it kind of looks like that, because the first thing that we started on was the bathtub. So this is kind of how it was before. Um, so we removed the tub, the vanity, and we replaced the floor so you will kind of see the process as we go. So like I said, the first thing that we did, we replaced the tub and that was kind of a process. Um, this was a much bigger tub than what we had in there. It's a deeper set tub so lots of the wall had to come out and that is how it turned out at the very end. And we love it even though we did a surround instead of tile we kind of went with that whole look of the tile with that so it turned out just how we wanted it and the next thing that we did was removed the vanity so we could get started on the flooring which involved us ripping up the entire floor subfloor and everything so we had a nice fresh clean slate So the next thing we did, the floor is down and we got started on the painting. And with this paint, we used the bear in the frappe um, and absolutely loved it. Loved how it matches kind of the warm tones in our um, baseboards and the trim around the windows. It's just a nice warm gray. We have the vanity set. The trim around the tub and everything is in its place this is how it turned out so in love with it it just uh, it just makes this room so nice and cozy and I just want to be in it at all times Okay, so now the decorating begins and this is the best part for me. So there was, a, because of the drywall that got cut and the wood, some of the trim wood got had to be cut, there was a lot of dust and or sawdust and drywall dust and everything. So I just wanted to come in here and give all the surfaces a good wipe down um, just so we have a nice clean surface to work with um, and it'll be ready to use whenever I go back in here after the decorating. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just hang the shower curtain up. I'm just gonna hang the liner and then I just put up the shower curtain that I just got not too long ago um, to fit more in that farmhouse style, which you will see here in a minute. I love the shower curtain and I did not want to replace it. So it's just a nice gray and white, simple striped shower curtain. Um, that fits really any room so or really any bathroom or kind of um, theme that you're going with so I just really love that shower curtain and it's nice because it can go horizontal and vertical I got that at Walmart for I think $20 so uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is put my shelving back up and I did not I knew I wanted my shelving to be exactly how I had it beforehand so I really just painted over the holes and just pre-drilled or re um, put the brackets back up in the, in the same place so nice and simple task here okay, and I had already done the staining of the shelf so I'm just adding those back up there making sure everything is lined up nice and neat um, and my good sides are facing front. So um, yeah, just a nice simple fix here. So now I'm gonna start decorating up here. That little vase came from Target in the dollar spot for $5 and then I just got these little lamb's ear from Walmart for $2. I think it was a two pack for $2 at Walmart. So. Um, these little cotton stems I got on Amazon and I'm just going to add those in there just to give it that farmhouse feel um, Plus going with the coastal farmhouse thing that I was going for I wanted to add a little bit more of the the lighter blues and the mint greens or seafoam green if you will 
um, just to kind of brighten up that space a little bit so it's not all in your face gray and white all the time so um, I really love how the color kind of broke up everything I just love this little arrangement and those beads came from um, Amazon as well I also got that little cotton ball holder at Dollar Tree and then the q-tip holder that I like to just keep up there just kind of if we need it it's up there um, that was an old candle holder so really loved how that turned out this bless you tissue box holder is a DIY that I made um, a bit ago along it's been a couple months um, I'll see if I can find that video and link it for you and then I got that little tin holder to hold some wash or not wash rags um, hand towels in at Hobby Lobby it was $6.99 but they were having their 40% off um, of their like metal items and I'm gonna add my Ray Dunn candle and that little green um, bottle was a thrift store find I didn't like how that one um, greenery went up there, so I'm going to switch some things around here. But the little candle holder um, came from my mom's sample cell, and I've talked about that before. And then the little greenery base came from TJ Maxx. So that is how my shelves turned out. Just nice, simple, and easy. I also made this sign as a DIY in a previous video. I will link that as well. And then I'm just going to hang a nice, fresh, clean white towel up there. And then this little basket came from Walmart and just going to fill that up with toilet paper. This little Ray Dunn live, or live tray thing um, came from TJ Maxx. And then I put my candle down and then a little greenery on the, the counter. And adding some Airwick freshener uh, just to kind of get any odors out. These little baskets were on sale at Walmart for $5.99 and I got quite a bit just to keep everything nice and organized in there. And this little um, sconce came from Dollar General for $12 and I'm just going to measure this out and put this up here. Um, I like turning that little candle light that I'm going to set up here on at night just to add a little extra light for the kids like if they need to go to the restroom in the middle of the night. So. It really illuminates really bright in there when the lights off so really loving how that all turned out and next the DIY in my last video I'm gonna hang these um, soak relax and wash signs that I made up on this little area of the wall and I'm just using some the, the velcro command strips um, they work really nice so even on like a rough surface it just kind of goes with the, the grain of the wood I guess so very nice and stuck up there really well okay, and next I'm just just for any debris that had fallen on the ground I just wanted to give in there a nice sweep before I laid down my rug and this rug also came from Dollar General. It's one of the fuzzy kind of microfiber ones and just love that. It's nice and big. I think I got that for $15 there. So this is how the bathroom turned out. I'm so in love with it. I just love the gray with the kind of um, bright blue colors and the seafoam green and along with the white and the gray. It just matches really well in there. To give it that farmhouse coastal vibe that I was trying to go for um, but also keeping it kind of very neutral and farmhouse as well so just absolutely love this space now and I hope you do too so if you do like this video please make sure you comment like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one bye guys